he came to a session and said in just a rather a blithe way, did I ever tell you um, that my father walked out on the family when I was four? And I felt a sort of boiling rage. How had he come to me and he'd been hospitalised and he had psychiatric reports and nobody had reported that his father had walked out on him and he'd never, he'd never thought it was significant. And I sort of boiled with rage because I thought, you know, you're just dancing round us as though, you know, you don't think um, fathers are important. And I was quite appalled by my rage. And so I became very silent in the session with him when he told me this. And it's quite uncharacteristic of me to be very silent. I'm not one of those who never says anything. And he, he picked up my silence. And he came back the next day saying he'd been really quite frightened by my silence. And gradually, we began to see that not only had he been frightened, but he'd been quite traumatised, I want to say, by my silence. And I was gradually able to keep... We went back to it over and over again as we tried to find what had happened between us. I'd clearly enacted something. And gradually, what we got to the bottom of was that in my silence I had become this enraged father who had walked out of the family and nobody had ever spoken about. And so, you know, I do believe that so often in trauma, you know, a very deep trauma, there's something that have, has no words and we as therapists find ourselves getting to it by our enactments. So I have come at the end of my career to think, don't be too hard on yourself when you enact something. It may be the only way we can get to a memory that, of something lost that needs to be known.